Hey everybody, welcome back to our Passion Week devotion series, uh, looking at the final week of the life of Christ. And uh, yesterday was Good Friday. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, and uh, today is Saturday. So what about today? What's going on today? You know, Christ was crucified and he's now been buried and he's potentially all but forgotten. But you're right, he's not forgotten, right? He's all but forgotten. Uh, and today we're looking at an account of of the Pharisees, the religious leaders coming to the government, uh, demanding that they guard the tomb of Jesus because uh, you know they wanted him out, they wanted him gone, they wanted him pushed aside, and they, they did that. Yesterday we talked about it, in the silence, they just rejected and said, crucify him, we don't care if his blood is on our hands. And to me, that decision would have meant, okay, now, now go home and you're done, he's dead. But they remembered, they still remembered that Jesus came, they still remember that he taught, they remember what he did, and they remember what he, what he said to them. And they're wondering, was there truth to that? So they approach uh, the governor, Pontius Pilate, and, they, and here's what they say uh, in Matthew 27, verses 62 to 66. So the next day, which followed the preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, remember that while this deceiver was still alive. Now, hear that? They said this deceiver. They, they still want it to be a lie. They want it to not be true. While this deceiver was still alive, he said, after three days, I will rise again. So give orders that the tomb may be secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come, steal him, and tell people he has been raised from the dead. And the last deception will be worse than the first. So as we look at today, this Saturday, this time where Jesus is in the grave, in between the crucifixion, in between the resurrection, this time where he may be forgotten by some, but he's not forgotten. Uh, they're wondering, was he really Lord? Right, And, and, and for you and I, there's this... this conundrum we have to solve, we have to answer for. And uh, Jesus is either one of three things. He is either the Lord, he is exactly who he said he is. He is a liar, right, the deceiver, and, and he's everything he has is a deception. Or he's a lunatic, he's a crazy man. Uh, so they come and approach Pilate, and it's interesting because if, if I would have made the decision that he was a lunatic, it would have been shut down yesterday. He would, He's dead, he's in the tomb, it's done. And everyone would have been like, finally, a breath of fresh air, this crazy man has been stopped. Let's go, let's go do our thing. They would have been back to Pilate. They wouldn't have cared anymore. But here they even say, like, we think he's, he's a liar. But there's some truth behind what he said. So maybe we got to guard this. And what they didn't want is for the disciples to come and, and steal the body. And, and then, oh, yeah, he rose. Just like he said, he's really God because it'll make, make a rally. But here's the problem with that. Without a real body alive, without Jesus really being alive and really seeing him, uh, it, there's a problem. Right? There's, there's really not a risen Savior. There's a, a story about one, maybe. And, and very few people would be willing then to go to their death proclaiming that. But what we see happen in the, uh, in the years following the cross and in the years following the resurrection, we see all of his disciples die martyrs' deaths, never recanting once that he was indeed the risen Savior. Uh, and we see this biblical account after the resurrection of him appearing to several people, many people, hundreds of people, proving that he is indeed risen from the dead. But they, they thought, oh, there's a deception happening. They wanted it still to not be true. So many people are like that. They still want the things about Jesus they've heard to not be true. Maybe you're one of those. Maybe you consider him not a lunatic, but he's a liar. And I wanna tell you something. If you if you think Jesus isn't Lord and he's a good teacher, you're, you're wrong because Good teachers don't tell lies, like he is the way, the truth, and the life, that he is the one that can forgive sin. Only You can only get to the Father through him. This is things Jesus said. So if, if he's a good teacher, then the things he said are true, and he's actually Lord, not just a good teacher. And, and if he's not, if he's a, you think he's a good teacher, but he's lying, he's not a good teacher, he's, he's a liar. So you gotta make that decision in your mind, or maybe he was just crazy. But it goes on, this, it says, uh, Pilate said, take guards then and, and, and make, the, make it as secure as you know how. And they went and they secured the tomb by setting a seal on the stone and placing guards nearby. You see, deep in their hearts on Saturday, Jesus still wasn't forgotten. And they wondered, they pondered, and they had to make a decision. Most of them said, he's a liar, let's, let's maintain that. But many still believed and tomorrow would be the day that, that many would see They'd touch Jesus, they'd feel him, they'd see him risen from the grave, as, and he is Lord over all. So although we had Good Friday and Jesus died and it was a somber day, a dark day, and Saturday now is this silent pondering day of what happens, just know Sunday's coming. Tomorrow Jesus rises triumphantly, 
and it's not ambiguous. It's not just an empty tomb where what happened to the body, where did you take him? It's, behold, he told you he would rise, and here he is, the risen Savior. So I'll see you tomorrow for Resurrection Sunday.